Hey gang, Scott with the Scott Gartner Group back at you with week six of Reviving Loving Tree and this is a great one. I think you're gonna like one of the most important things I've told people for years. The most important things or the easiest and most cost effective things you can do in your home is lighting and paint. I've asked Jeffrey to go over some of that with us today and show us some of the progress that's gone on. We've had a lot of things go on since the last episode. So come on in, I think you're gonna love it. Hey buddy. How's it going? Looking good. Looking Thank different, you. huh? Thank you so much. Tell us what, what's been going on here and uh, what do you see? Yeah, we've done a lot. So we've raised a subfloor up now. Uh, there used to be a flagstone flooring in here, if you remember, and it was four inches. So four inches is a lot. Um, so we had to bring it up uh, with new concrete. So we've done the whole flooring on the upper level. Lower level's fine. Um, that didn't need to be adjusted at all. But when we put the new subfloor in, we were able to expand out this floor in here. So now we'll have an extra six inches for the bar stools that are going in. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. You know, I love the idea of bringing the outdoors in, Jeff, but we may be going overboard. <laughs> yeah, we had a quail walk in when we were pouring the concrete. And uh, I guess he was on an important phone call because he realized he was in the wrong home. And uh, <laughs> he just <laughs> he turned quick around and exited went back out. out. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Well, maybe we leave that then. Exactly. I think adds character. <laughs> and this is looking way different in here. Yeah, yeah. So we were able to get a lot of the framing done this week. Um, we put in the new ductwork and we were able to really focus on lighting now since we had the new floor plan for the kitchen. So I mentioned in the lead in about lighting, how important that is. And I know you feel the same way. Absolutely. Can you talk to us about what you're doing in here. Sure. Yeah. So basically now that we have the floor plan of the kitchen, we're able to really uh, pick out exactly where we want the lighting to flow. So the kitchen's flowing on the perimeter of the room. Lighting is important because you obviously want to see what you're cooking and you know what you're cutting. And um, so now that we've kind of come and knocked down these walls, the space usage is going to change. So with that, lighting is going to change with it. So that's why now is a time that we're picking out these layouts and we're changing out the layouts is for us to come in and make sure the lighting is perfect for what it, the uh, space will be utilized for. Brilliant. You know, Jeff, I got to stop you here. I, this is nothing to you, but for somebody who, who works with people showing homes and stuff, they're always, well, not always, often disappointed at how broken it up it is. We're looking for that open feeling. Sure. And here you can see where these walls were. It's just crazy. Just makes no okay. sense. Come in this way. <laughs> then you go over here. <laughs> then you go here. And then I come back this way. This, this is what people are looking for. They are, yeah. It's usable space. Talk about bringing the soul back to it. This is really nice move. Thank you very Love much. This. Appreciate I, it. I, I knew what you were doing, but I really <laughs> didn't get a sense of it till this minute. <laughs> now you can see it. I love it. Jeff, I got to tell you, you know, one of the things we look for in these is you got to have drama and conflict. <laughs> We're not getting any. I need some screw ups, okay? <laughs> Timing, that's the thing. That's yeah. where people fall in hate with their contractors. Are we out of time? We're, we're, we're not gonna hit our <laughs> we deadline, We are right? on time. We're gonna no, hit. no, no! <laughs> Fine, what about yeah. the windows? That's so the we're windows. redoing all of this. <laughs> yeah, we had an issue with the windows. It was the lead time was gonna be three months and we didn't have three months because you know we wanted to be able to get into these walls and get this project rolling. The minute you have one delay, it's gonna delay everything else. So we were able to find a new vendor um, that was able to provide us new doors and windows um, and that are actually commercial grade, so it actually worked out better for us um, with four weeks. So problem solved. Fine, fine. But what about costs? We must be over budget. <laughs> Actually, and we save money. So it was a win-win. Fine, fine. <laughs> Let's cheer. I'm sorry, people. If this is boring, okay? I, next For the next house, I'm going to find a designer that sucks. <laughs> It'll be much more interesting. Maybe uh, not as profitable for me, but, you know, money's not everything. Right, right. You have to be happy. <laughs> I'm happy. Right on. 
All right, our next step, steps. <laughs> we talked about maybe expanding these out and making three steps along here. Correct, yes. So we actually decided against it. Design's always evolving when you're doing stuff like this. Um, the third step would have fallen past the cabinet, which would have looked funky. And it would be not really a good design to just go past, and it's a tripping hazard. So we really want to make sure it's a smooth transition into the next level. So we decided not to go with it. Probably saved us some money too. Saved some money as well, yes. That doesn't suck. Right? Love it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Dude, what did you do to my door and my wall? What is going on? You got a horror film like, here's Johnny. <laughs> yes, and that's how I took it down too. No, yeah, we wanted to get rid of this. We needed to open up this space. It just felt so chopped up when you walk in the front door and you had this wall here with see-through glass. It just didn't make sense. So, so this is coming out? This is coming out. Yeah, so we're gonna open this up so you have more of a grand entrance into the movie theater. Uh, we're gonna put some beautiful curtains that are draped with sides, set the tone, so it'd be nice. Well, that's right on theme, what I was saying. People, everybody I show homes, eh, we're looking for something a little more open. Yeah. Well, there you go. There we go. I think maybe this is the guy that walked in on our uh, cement. Come on, buddy. Let's go this way. Oh, come here. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> oh, I can feel his little heart. Hey gang, that wraps up this episode. I hope that was enlightening and uh, kind of fun. How about the bird, huh? We don't have a lot of drama, but at least we've got some wildlife scenes for you. But uh, I, th I hope that was somewhat instructive. We didn't get into paint too much today. A little early for that, we'll get into that. But uh, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.